All right, thank you for staying with us and still as first on I this Tuesday, this sober Tuesday, I call it. Um, I was reading a few of your comments, and there's still a lot more um, to talk about um, in terms of your comments. Let's uh, read um, this one from uh, John Paul Epwe. He says, May God grant the families of the diseased footballers, the club officials, and journalists the fortitude to bear this loss. It's a very, very heavy loss. Mm -hmm. When you imagine 22 journalists, Brazilian journalists, who um, we will never return, as um, uh, one of our friends said in the studio just now, we will never return to, to the, the newsroom. newsroom. <laughs> it's uh, it's uh, just going out for an assignment with uh, all the expectations routine and then assignment. Uh, routine assignment. Routine assignment that you think, do I'll day. go, I'll come, and then it's, it's all over. Um, that's a, um, a big loss indeed. Uh, Akim uh, Olo Gaba says uh, the entire uh, sporting family globally uh, mourn this sad occurrence in Brazil. The ac accident actually happened in um in colombia yeah uh, but uh, it's it's uh, it doesn't matter where it happened it's uh, the, it's the tragedy, loss it's, it's tragedy it's uh, the, the tragic nature that affects everyone it says may their soul rest in perfect peace um Moti Seweji says congratulations to the super falcons as the coast to the final wishing them success in the final against cameroon our girls will really need to play their best game um to have any chance against the cameroonian but the the, the fact of the case is if there is any team that can beat Cameroon at the African Women's Cup of Nations, it's Nigeria. And if there is any team that can stop Nigeria at the African Women's Cup of Nations, it's Cameroon. So the perfect, uh, the setting is perfect for the final um, of um, this uh, competition. Um, guys, let's uh, touch up on a few things very quickly. We'll come back to read a lot more of your comments. Please keep your comments coming. Um, let's um, read your thoughts. Talk to us. It's a night where we want you to pour out your hearts to us and uh, um, commiserate with the Brazilians and celebrate with the Falcons um, as we go on, on, on sports tonight. Let's move very quickly. Um, last season, um, Rivers United came so close to winning um, the Nigeria Professional Football League. Um, they needed, uh, uh, they pushed and pushed up to the final day, it didn't happen. But then you remember that at the beginning of the season, they had a very slow start. Yeah. And then there came a three-match ultimatum given, given to, to coach, coach uh, Stanley, Stanley Guma. Guma. That was the turning point. Okay. But, but, but Yemi, this season, Rivers United have done excellent preseason. They are looking sharp, they are looking ready, not just because of the Nigeria Professional Football League, but because they are carrying Nigeria's flag. In the Cup Champions League. And they're in their third phase of um, camping. And when you look at this, you are happy because if, if we want to do things the right way, we can. And, and, and look at, the, like you said, the, the kind of precision they've had. I mean, it doesn't get better than this. Um, we, we also hear a foreign trip. Uh, is they're the, going to Spain is in, the mix. in December. So th this is good. Uh, and the, the itinerary has been so good. Uh, they played some test matches. A lot of test games now. And they will also play in the Sheo Diko annual football tournament in Kaduna. In Kaduna. And then so, they will play in the MPFL Super 4. And, and, I mean, it doesn't get better than that. And all of this, you know, our teams in the past that have been on the continent, anytime there's a lull where maybe the league hasn't started, it, it, sh it does affect, affect the team. But, but for these guys, they've done everything you expect them to do. And apart from that, they are backed. They, they, they have a backing, a strong backing, a strong commitment from the state government to push this team all the way. The guys are motivated. They, 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 they have the squad that they want. And, they, and they're getting things They've right. recruited well. And like you said last week when we were talking, I'm hoping that Nigerian clubs will start seeing the need for good precision and stop stumbling. Um, in, into the league. Stop stumbling into the league. Exactly. Stop knowing your players to and, the stop, first two, three. and stop stumbling into the into the continental engagement. Exactly. exactly. Uh, it's Cosmos. always over mm. before it begins. Yeah, mm. Cosmos, for me, the turning point uh, for, for um, Rivers uh, was the decision of the state government to merge Sharks of Podacot and Dolphins into one club, Rivers walk, United. Yeah, like because, because in the past, um, Rivers are getting all the support to have this elaborate uh, precision program. Mm. It, it wouldn't have happened if there was a shark of Podakot also locking somewhere. Well, uh, because um, the um, uh, two clubs at the time were owned by the River State government, I mean, it made sense um, the fact that um, they could not be spending um, monies for two clubs. And of course, one of them had already gone on relegation, and it was like, okay, why should we have one club at the NLL and one club at um, the Nigeria Professional Football League?
Republic. I remember um, at some point when Rivers United actually came to Lagos to play MFM at the Agige Stadium, their media officer, Sam, uh, Samuel Wajenia, was here. I was on set with him, and he, he actually talked about the, uh, the, the, the advantages of the two clubs being merged together. Mm. Right now, they are stronger. You could see that at, in the Nigeria Professional Football League this season that just passed. You know, they were fighting till almost the last day to win the league. And um, it's just there. They have gotten some of the best preseason. When you're talking about the fact that um, Nigerian clubs need to realize that the hallmark of a very good season is a very good preseason. Mm. Yes, and, and, and that just it. I like that. And that's the hallmark. Can, can, can you say it again? Yes, the hallmark <laughs> of a good season is a <laughs> very good preseason. Pre I like it. And, and, that, and that's the truth. <laughs> I mean, you have a very good preseason. Yeah. It's not the one that uh, you probably go somewhere in you know, and train and you train for about three weeks. No games, you're ready. no friendly. No games, you just no friendly. enter the season blindly. That's the thing. And, 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 and that's mm. something that um, um, Nigeria Club should be able to take, whether government owned or private owned. I mean, you should have good preseason because it mm. actually helps and that's what Rivers United are trying to do here and um, I won't be surprised if um, they just sneak it next season. Mm.